uh, heard later in the next collection as well, in the language and the use of sound and its very grounded Irishness, even though the medium of English is being used to express the poetry. And this one is the Sword of Clarity. I am double-edged. I am the destroyer of injustice. I am the king's right hand. I am the blind lady's strength. I am lightning. Forged by a couple of smiths, I shine in the sun. Tempered by fire and water, I slice ignorance to show light and wisdom. I am invincible. I am the sword clarity. And I think that says enough about Donald himself. collection is available for purchase <coughs> afterwards too and it's called Lost Grace. Um, the, the new book, the Taylor and Anstey, we will be talking about later on and just to say that I think myself that you will find it's a very revelatory and a very revolutionary, um, I wouldn't use the word reinterpretation, I would say insight into uh, what the Taylor and Anstey and their concepts and the way in which they lived were all about. Um, Donal regularly attends the White House in Limerick and also the On the Nail readings and we are lucky to have Barney Sheehan in the house tonight, uh, one of the fathers of living poetry in Limerick who is the presenter and MC of all the sessions night after night at the White House in Limerick and so Barney we're very glad to have you here and Donal has frequently been your guest and apparently he will also be the guest reader in the White House next Wednesday. So uh, Barney Sheehan. In the house, um, the originator of the On the Nail uh, session that takes place in our very cultivated and cultured city of Limerick, contrary to what all those press and media people <laughs> might be saying about us. Uh, the um, On the Nail uh, readings are um, organised by uh, Dominic Taylor, and uh, Dominic is also the publisher of this book here tonight, so Dominic is with us as well. So, well done to all of these people who undertake this Trojan work and do it purely for the love of what it's all about. Uh, Donal is also a member of, and we must be mentioned, the Schoolyard Scribblers here in Charleville, and uh, the Schoolyard Scribblers, um, some of their members will be here uh, shortly, to read for us, as well as some of our poets from Limerick. So hopefully you get an insight into the kind of things that are going on uh, with these very creative people for whom uh, writing may have started out as a curiosity but has now become a necessity, I believe. <laughs> and uh, I would also like to thank Kevin O'Shea here of the Schoolyard Theatre, who has always been so welcome, like, welcoming and so accommodating. and. Um, I think you have uh, created something here in Charleville of which the town should be very, very proud. And I hope that as time goes on, it continues to get the kind of support it deserves. Because really, to create something in a space like this, you need somebody of drive and great vision. And I think that Kevin certainly has those. Without further ado, I am going to um, ask uh, the musicians uh, to play a few tunes to get us into form for the proceedings. And then after that, I'm going to introduce somebody very interesting, um, and I am sure you will be interested in what he has to say to you. Thank you. I'm going to start off with a set of jigs. No idea what the name of it is. I think I'll roll with the night boss on it. 